Brainworks just released a new and more sophisticated version of their MasterDesk plugin. I'm talking about the MasterDesk Pro. And while checking the plugin manual, <laughs> yes, yes, I know, I know. I'm one of the few people who actually enjoy reading the manual. Anyway, uh, while reading the manual, I noticed the following sentence. The upgraded BX Master Desk Pro is still so easy to learn that even inexperienced producers can quickly dial in great sounding masters in under a minute. So, here's the plans for today. I'm going to give it a go, but just to keep things light and fun, I'll run a mix through the plugin and spend two minutes instead of one, experimenting with the settings. The song is two minutes long, so I'll give one pass and try to come up with a good sound. I'm not sponsored by Plugin Alliance, I'm subscribed to the Mega Bundle and I paid with my own money, so everything I say here it's my own opinion. Before we start with the experiment, let me do a super quick overview of the plugin. Starting on the left side, we have a compressor that offers a clipper and a, a glue mode, which is basically a VCA style compressor, like the famous SSL bus compressor. It also offers the possibility of unlinking the channels in a mix knob for parallel compression. The big knob down here is the main volume control. Uh, with it, we can push more signal into the processor. So this is one of the most important knobs. Now let's talk about the metering. One of the things I absolutely love about it is the range of options it provides. You see, these options serve as handy guides to give you a rough idea of how loud you can push your music. It's really helpful to have that kind of guidance while working on your tracks. XL and THD are basically saturation and harmonics. The foundation knob is kind of a tilt EQ, with it, you can balance how much lows and highs you want for the song. The limiter section is the last step of the chain. We have here the modern and classic switch, which offers two different attack modes. A well-known release knob, a true pick limiter mode, the ability of unlink the left and right channels, the turbo knob, which according to the manual is just another gain point before hitting the limiter. And finally, we have an output trim, which I generally set at minus 0.1 dB. Now here in the lower part of a plugin, we have different controls that help us fine tune the final sound of the mix. The de is a dynamic EQ that we can use to control the harshness of the mix. The tone section is basically a broad EQ that we can use for an overall tone shaping. We'll see how it sounds in just a minute. Uh, next to it we have the MS section and here I'm pretty excited to see how it sounds because in the manual says it's not just a mid-side enhancer but it uses a clever automated EQ system that allows us to get extra width without raising the boomy room sounds or muddy reverb tails. Hmm, interesting. To finish we have the lower section which offers two notch filters to cut out certain frequencies that might be bothering us. Next to it, we have a common three band parametric equalizer and a high and low pass filters. So the track is called Friends by Hey Mister, which I produced and mixed. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Down today, last night we fought again. Drinks turn into fists uh, I gotta shake it up And drown all those shitty feelings I need coffee, my shades and walk it up Good down 
I don't even know what we said mm. Last night hit a stage for a fool mm. Gotta shake it out And throw up those shitty feelings I need coffee, my shades of wall The two minutes are gone. Let's make a before and after comparison. But again, mm, drinks turn into fists. Uh, I gotta shake it up and drown all those shitty feet. We are now at a level of about. I need coffee, my shades and walls. Minus eight, LUFS. Everything is everything. Minus seven on the chorus, which is pretty competitive. Let me know your thoughts about this plugin in the comment section below. Did you like the overall sound it produces? I think it's a nice addition to the Plugin Alliance family. I really like the new width controls and the fact that it gathers a couple of other plugins together in one single plugin. This will definitely help speeding up the mixing process. And speaking about speeding up the mixing process, here's a video with five tips that will help you mix faster and more efficiently. See you there.